Hey guys, Mr. Burns here again. Uh, and today I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a, uh, a tutorial on uh, horizontal and vertical lines and how to find the equations of them and how to graph them. And actually, guys, this is not, this is a, uh, if you get this on a test or an assignment or something, uh, you guys should do really well with this stuff because it's not overly difficult. Um, I'll start out first with horizontal lines. Um, and the thing about uh, this stuff, guys, is just keeping it straight in your mind. And a horizontal line, of course, is something that goes straight across or left and right or whatever you want to say about it. Um, and if you look at the coordinates of this thing, if you look at the coordinates of this line, um, let's just pick a few. I'll pick three random coordinates here. Okay, so this one is negative uh, 5, 5. This one is 1, 5. This one is 3. Five. So if you look at the um, x-coordinates of this particular line, it's always changing. Okay, It's never the same coordinate. But if you look at the y right here, right here, right here, um, it's always the same. It's always 5. Okay, So the key to naming a horizontal uh, line is knowing what y-coordinate it goes through. Okay? It goes through y is equal to 5, okay? And that's always what it goes through. So, in fact, the equation of this thing is simply y is equal to 5. Because no matter what the value of x is, y is always 5, okay? x could be 10 billion for this particular line, and y is still going to be 5, okay? So that's really why that, that's the case, okay? y is always the same thing. It doesn't matter what x does. Okay, all right, let's have a look at how we graph these things. You probably probably already got that figured out. All right, so we got a couple of examples. Start with this one right here. Let me grab my line tool. So it says y is equal to negative 3. So the first thing we, we do is identify, well, this is the y-axis here, straight up and down. Um, and we're looking for, well, where, what, where is y is equal to negative 3? Well, I mean, it's all along this line. y is equal to negative 3 right here, right here. You know, parts in between. All across this line, y is equal to negative 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my line tool, and I'm going to draw a line directly through that. Okay? This is the line, y is equal to negative 3. Okay? So this is y is equal to negative 3. And because we know it's y, we know it's a horizontal line. Okay? Because so y is equal to negative 3 all along this line right here. Now, we got y is equal to... Uh, 0 0.5 or half, and don't let the 0 0.5 fool you. Okay, 0 0.5 is just in between here. Okay, so all along these points right here, y is equal to 0.5. So right across this line here, y is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so y is equal to 0 0.5. All right, so that's the horizontal line, and you see, guys. Uh, nothing overly complicated there. It's just got to keep that straight in your mind. That for a horizontal line, uh, y is equal to whatever number it's going through. Okay, so in this case, 0.5. In this case, 3. And all you got to do is look on the axis for that, the y-axis. Okay. All righty, vertical lines. So vertical lines go up and down. And very much the same thing. Let's take a few points on this thing. So I'll take one here, one here, and down here. So this point is negative 3 and 4. This point is negative 3 and 1. This point is negative 3 and negative 2. Okay? So if you look at this, uh, x is not changing. x is staying the same. And y is changing. Okay? So it uh, doesn't matter what x does, y keeps uh, changing all the time. Or it doesn't matter what y does, x stays the same. Okay, so it's very similar to the relationship we had with horizontal lines. It's just the opposite. So if we're looking at a, a vertical line, we're wondering, what's the value of x? Is this thing uh, is going up and down? Well, the value of x in this case, x is equal to negative 3. That is our equation. Okay, because it doesn't matter what, what y does, x stays the same. Okay, doesn't matter what y does, x stays the same. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at and graph the following lines. 
I don't have a grid here. I'll get one really quick. So you get, get a chance to see my fancy coordinate maker here. Alrighty, so we got x is equal to negative 2.5. Well, since we have x there, we know that the line has to go through the x-axis. Okay, so in order to go through the x-axis, it has to be a vertical line. So we locate negative 2.5. Well, that's right about right here. Maybe I'll put a little dot there just to show you guys. Okay, and now I'm going to draw a line right through there. Okay, not quite on. I'll move it over a little smidge. There we go. Perfect. All right, so, and that's our x is equal to negative 2.5. Okay, so now we have y is equal to 0. Okay, so if it's y, then it must be a horizontal line. Okay, so don't be thrown off by the fact that I threw that in there. Okay, y equals 0, horizontal line. Well, we got to look for y is equal to 0. y equals 0 right along this line here, okay, the x-axis. It's the only spot where y is equal to 0. So let's throw a line in there, and this is our line, and that's it. So let's la label this so it's clear. This is x is equal to negative 2.5, and this is y is equal to 0, okay? So guys, I hope that's clear. One thing I want you to remember is that a horizontal line is represented by y equals to a number that it goes through, okay? And it always goes through the y-axis. Horizontal lines go through the y-axis, and vertical lines go through the x-axis, and it's x equals, okay? So you might want to make a couple notes on that if, you haven't, uh, if you're having trouble uh, keeping that straight in your mind. I hope this makes things clear, guys. Please check out my websites. Um, Hope your studying goes well. I'll see you in class.